We are here at the airport. Today is a new day. We're gonna get something bigger, faster, and way cooler. So let's go check it out. So we're going to fly a sky lane today. The weather's not all that nice. It's really cloudy. It just rained a whole bunch here. I'm not even sure if we're going to be able to go up. So we may do some stuff on the ground, but the plane is parked in a hangar somewhere over here. And I got to go figure out which one. I had to come back to the car here because I couldn't find where the plane was parked. I also have to get on my phone and they have like an aircraft log sheet that basically says everything that the airplane is supposed to have in order to be airworthy to fly. And there's a list of things I have to check. And there's a couple of things on there that are overdue. And so it's a regulation that we can't break. So Adam's gonna be here shortly, who's gonna be my flight instructor to get certified in this plane. He's gonna show me where it's at, get me a key, and then we're gonna do a walk around of the plane on the outside and take a look at some of the stuff on the inside so that I can ask some questions about some things I'm actually wanting to know. And it's good because we can do that on the ground and we're not doing it up in the air where I need to be focused and concentrated on things related to actually flying the plane. So we're gonna do this. This will be a little different video. Maybe you guys will get a little bit of interesting insight as to how we pre-flight a plane and what we're looking for, things that might draw your attention to, hey, this needs to be fixed before we go up or this is unsafe, we can't fly if it's like this. So you can kind of get a perspective of what we do in that sense before we actually even take the thing up in the air. So anyways, we'll fly another day, it's okay. There's still things to be done between now and then, so we'll make the best of it. Oh yeah, it looks different without the wheel pins on it. The front one, but... So each door's kind of separate, you can tell. I have to push each one back. Okay. Are they hard to push? No. Smells like ab, yeah, or uh, 100 low lead in here. <laughs> Um, so go ahead and remove the uh, control lock. So you got your obstacle database, your navigation, airport directory, and charts. So all those databases are right there, and you want to make sure they're all current. Okay. Can you fly with a not current database? VFR. Can, depending on what database it is, right? Okay. Because this plane has a lot of information on it. Okay, if my navigation database is current, but everything else is expired, can I fly? Yeah. Because my navigation is still current. Right? Okay. The navigation is what I'm using for my GPS. Okay. Um, so we'll hit enter or the right, you can do that. And that brings up your There she is. Wow. Now, did you notice what happened when you brought the MFD up? My engine panel from the PFD came over here. See that? Yep. So this is where all my engine parameters are. Okay. Cool. So. There's oh my guy. gosh. So you have to kind of watch these databases. Yeah. If they're current, here's your charts. So you have that. If I have my departure procedures, it should be in here. There it is. Wow. I don't know why they're fly one, but whatever. Um, approach plate. amazing though because the rear horizontal stabilizer really does sit a lot higher up yep. than the Skyhawk. What is that? 
that's going to be where the fuel would drip out. Okay. And does this have 15 in total fuel sumps? Five under each wing, three underneath the body? Or is that too many? It's five. Yeah, five and three. Thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah. Okay. Or I said 15, yeah. didn't I? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. So you got that guy. You also have... <clears throat> yeah, it's an alternate static source. It's a secondary alternate yeah. static. So you've got two extra things over here you have to check on the okay. external. Okay. Okay. And the stall vein is different on this too, right? The little tab that yeah, you can, okay. Cause they want you to turn that on in the pre-flight, test it, that it goes off. That's why we're power, yep. Okay. And then the other thing I was gonna ask you too is, um, are you a big proponent of, if we're just doing VFR flight to test the pitot tube that it comes hot? I know we're not gonna fly into known icing conditions or go IFR flight, but. I will check that. Um, I always check speed of heat, VFR okay. or IFR. All right. I always check it. Okay. Because you should know the equipment that's working on your plane. Yep. All right. Oh, it even, yeah, okay. So, you want to make sure you Because that's that. a new design. Right? I mean, well, it as of. It's uh, electronic control. Yeah. So, um, you want to make sure you do that. And the only way to work is with the master's on. Okay. Okay. So, I will check that as All well. All right. Um, then you get your normal stack port here. Some of them will have another stack port back there. Um, this one doesn't. You want to go to the Yep. Yeah, it did earlier this morning. Alicia texted me and said, don't go, go, go flying, it's IFR. Hmm. Well, I saw the meat this morning before that my house. I'm looking at it, I'm like, why does it say overcast 700 light rain? I'm like, <laughs> it's broken. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, it's broken. Yeah. Um, there's your cow. And then where are, is it easier to access those other fuel yeah, on the other side? Okay. One thing I want to point out. So how big was our engine? 235 horsepower, yep. right? Okay. Look at my openings. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of room for air. That's why so those cow flaps are so important. Flaps yeah. Okay, th these are smaller than the 172 openings. You know how they've got those big things? So that's why the cow flaps, that's why it's important to utilize these cow okay. flaps, if need be. Yep. Okay, again, depending on the conditions. Your prop system, right? Not yes. Aircraft. It's all the oil from the engine is what drives the adjustment for the prop. Yep. Um, oil in this plane, so kind of the same thing. And it's nine quarts for if you're going to go long extended flight, no less than four is what it said in the manual that I read, but I'm I won't ever do four. In this yeah. Plane. It's six at a minimum, right? Six is yeah. what I go with. Okay. So I, I like to do six, I don't like to do more than eight. Okay. Um, that's I keep between six and eight. And six and eight. But I am surprised I got busy enough here on so it. Yeah, I bet not. LAX is like we had eighty first officers. See you, Adam. Yeah. So that went pretty good. Uh, I probably didn't show you guys enough, but basically we opened the plane up. Uh, we kind of turned on some of the systems. He showed me some of the functions of how it works. It's a lot different than the stuff we fly now. And then we also did a walk around of the airplane where he showed me some of the areas to look for taking samples of fuel to check it, make sure there's no dirt and sediment in there. Um, how heavy the, the airplane is now compared to what we fly. Um, and then just some of the other intricacies of that plane, the engine, the propeller system all of that kind of stuff. So we didn't get to fly today because it has a maintenance issue and uh, the weather actually was not all that great and it ended up actually raining a little bit too. So we're gonna push it off until probably either right before Christmas or probably after the first of the new year. And we'll go out for probably about a two and a half hour flight. And at that point, um, we'll go out and do some maneuvers and things just to get a feel for how the airplane feels and performs and then probably go out to some airports, do some uh, takeoff and landings, and then we'll come back to the airport here and shoot an approach in, and then that'll probably finish it up. So stay tuned, probably a week or two more, maybe we'll have some update, but in the meantime, Bill and I are gonna be flying out to Palm Springs on the 21st, which is next uh, Monday, I believe, maybe Tuesday. And so we're gonna go out and go pick up some treats for our Christmas uh, get-together uh, before, yeah, the holidays come in. 
So anyways, another video coming soon. You guys take care. Have a Merry Christmas if we don't see you again before then. And we'll see you on the next flight.